What's up Legends, today I want to discuss the state of the Apex Legends Global Series. But first, I have an announcement. I have had a few people ask me if I stream, or do I do watch parties for the tournament, and I currently don't have the ability to do a stream, or do an official Twitch watch party. But I did just create a Discord server so we can talk in real time about the games together, and so far I've created three text channels, and the first one will be used to talk about the games live as they're happening, and so I'll send out reminders the day of the events so we can all be there together. The second channel is a tournament clips channel. I can't watch from every point of view, so that part of the channel will be designed for you guys to post your favorite clips and moments from the tournament. It can be funny moments or epic moments, basically whatever you guys are interested in. The third channel is just for you guys to add your own clips, or clips from your favorite streamers, or your favorite ranked footage from the pros, basically that isn't tournament related. And I'll post a link to the Discord in the comments below. Okay, now on to the main portion of the video. I want to discuss the state of the Apex Legends Global Series, with the emphasis on the global part. The ALGS is supposed to be a massive tournament with all the regions coming together to compete fairly and intensely in the biggest Apex events of the year, but it isn't really fair. NA boasts about how dominant they are, and they have a point at the surface level, but if you look at the grand finals, there are 20 teams that are qualified to compete. 40% of those teams were NA, but if you dig a little deeper, that you see the distribution of teams isn't equal. EMEA, NA, and APAC North all get 10 teams who are allowed to compete in the playoffs, while South America and APAC South each only get 5. And this could be for multiple reasons, most likely that's when the game came out there was less interest, or there was just less competitive interest in those regions. But there is more to it than NA just getting more teams. We have more tournaments and more outside money put into competitive Apex. When was the last big tournament you heard about EMEA having? And when did we last see Alliance and GMT and all these other teams play? When was the last time we saw Jen Burton and Dark Zero compete? NA has the most practice out of any region in competitive Apex. There's just so much more opportunity here, in which long term it'll be bad for Apex. Apex South has 5 slots, and Dark Zero is one of them. They're back to back champions in the ALGS. They won the split 2 playoffs without Jim Burton, and then came back and won the grand finals. Think about how insane that is. And if this is true, the Apex South may be losing their best team if Jen Burton really does move to the US. There are just so many orgs and so many long standing orgs for the NA players. Look at this list of the EU scrims. How many teams do you recognize? Do you see the team in 12th place, GSD? Who is that? Those are the players who played for GMT, Nasuke, Sir Dell, Max Drafe. Their team got 5th in the Grand Finals, and now they aren't even signed to an org. If more teams and more players have to move to the NA market in order to have a shot at playing competitively, it will only continue to oversaturate the NA market and devalue the other regions globally. Yes, all teams and regions can play high level ranked, but the style is different, and even then, the competitive maps are Stormpoint and World's Edge. If one of those two maps are not in rotation, how are these other teams going to be practicing their rotations, their looting patterns, and especially for those teams that just got new players or are adapting to a new meta? The Oversight Tournament is a great step forward for the competitive Apex community, but it's mostly just for NA. If this was an ALGS linked tournament, then Chaotic Much wouldn't be able to play for G2, and Hawkus wouldn't be able to sub in for tripods. Think about how much better the tournaments could be if every team can practice and earn money the same way that NA teams can. It's called Apex Legends Global Series. Respawn and Apex tournaments need to do a better job creating a competitive market and atmosphere for teams outside of NA. I know I already said it, but just imagine how much better these teams could be and how much better the players would be if they had the same opportunities. What Dark Zero has done is incredible. What all of these teams has done is incredible, given their situations. Let me know what you guys think down below, and be sure to check out the Discord if you want to be part of the grand opening for Thursday as we watch the Oversight Tournament. Until next time, Legends.